Hello everyone, welcome to the brand new tutorials for building an application in React. And we are using the Spring Boot to, to create a REST API. So first of all, I will to go to the Spring Boot and I will create the API on Spring Boot. And later I create I will create the a React app and I will connect to React app to Spring. I know that there are a lot of APIs framework are available, but uh, on this time I will choose the Spring Boot. All right, so let's begin. Uh, so first of all, I will start with the Spring Boot, uh, and later on I will go to the React. So I will just go to the website. So as you know, if you guys are familiar on Spring Boot, you can can create a project from Spring Boot Initializer. Uh, initializer. But if you guys don't have any uh, uh, background on Spring Boot, don't worry about it. I will show you from the scratch. So this is going to be very simple app. Uh, I will make a customer app that will keep record the data for a customer like a crowd application is not going to be any very complex applications. All right. So in Spring Boot, uh, you can there is a various way you can create a Spring Boot applications. Uh, there is a Spring Boot toolset which you can download it and which, which you can download it and generate creating from toolset which is built on top of the Eclipse. But for this, I'm using the Eclipse and I'm using the Eclipse Neon 3. So I'm gonna build on this guy. All right. So let's begin. First of all, just set it up the project on this video and another video. I'm gonna continue on it. So let's set up the project. So before uh, set up the uh, do something in Eclipse, uh, I will go in Spring Boot Initializer. So on this guy, I will give the group name. So group name gonna gonna be uh, this dot. Uh, we just say CRM, and we will build the the customer. Customers. Uh, customers. It's a customer's applications, uh, so we just, we just say customers. So we need to add a couple of the dependencies on the Spring Boot. So let's add a Spring uh, Web Starter. This will also add a Tomcat server inside it. And we will use a MySQL driver. We'll use a MySQL server. We use a Spring JPA. And we use the also call DevTools. And this DevTools is, uh, is not that important, but it will help you to run the project automatically when you save it. Uh, so that's all we will use for this project. So I'm gonna generate this. I will tell them to show the folder. Okay, so I will close this. I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna put that zip here. So I will open this guy. I will trash it up. I don't need that. So I will go back to Eclipse. I will open the Eclipse. I don't know why I opened this. I don't need this. So I'll just close it, that guy. And my Eclipse is it's open here. All right. So this is my Eclipse. So I do have project. I have an Eclipse. So the thing I need to do is I will move this project to my uh, document. And uh, I will move to the my workspace. So there are a lot of uh, the project for uh for, for the java project there are a lot of java project and uh, i will import the customer in my eclipse here so i'll just go in a file import existing maven project it's a maven project so go here customer okay and finish and here it's up uploading okay it's done so now i will go to the customer where is it here so in pom.xml I found there is some issues on this, uh, not sure in this Eclipse or, or not sure, oh, but it will give you some error and you can able to run. And I will change back this version to 2.1.4 and I will save this uh, uh, pom.xml file and I have to change inside the parent. Uh, 
So latest release is not working. It's because of my Eclipse or not exactly sure. So we'll not worry about that. So I just changed to 2.1.4. It's changed. And now I'm going to run this customer application. Just want to see that this is working or not. So I'll just run this guy. It's running and it's failed. It's failed because uh, it also need the application properties, database uh, name and configuration. And the good thing about Spring Boot is it does the auto configuration. We just need to provide where to connect it. And I do have already the example of this guy, which is here. So I'll just copy this guy and paste it here. And I will open my uh, MAMP server, which is installed in my Mac here. So in my Mac, MAMP, uh, you know what? I will open a new window. I will go to localhost 888 and I will see the, all the my project, but I don't want to see that project. I want to go to PSME, my admin. If you guys know about the MAMP or, or uh, ZAMP, you guys can install it and it will basically, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, you can create the tables. It's it's Apache server. It's connected with Apache server, MySQL, and PHP, and uh, it will it run the MySQL server here. All right. So it, this basically used to create a PHP project, but that we are using a MySQL server, and this guy also run the MySQL server, so we could use in our Spring applications. Or you guys can use any other MySQL server from anywhere. All right, so I'm using this guy now. So let's begin and I will create a new tables here. I don't have any tables, so I'll create a new table called customers. Uh, customer table. Uh, you know what customers. Okay, so I create a customers tables already. I don't have to create any field for now. So I have a customers tables and I already have my the where is call we go my privileges yes uh, the username and hostname which is student student so i create a student student here so here is a, a customer so i'll just change where to connect it i'll just change, go to this customer database so now uh, let's see that this guy will run or not if i save this guy do i need to change something maybe no i'll just close it and i'll just run it customer applications and see if this is running or not Okay, this is running at a port 8080. So I'll just go here, localhost and port 8080 and see. So this is our Spring, Spring Boot application is running now. So in the next video, I'm going to create a REST endpoints for the customer. And I'm going to show you how it's connected to React applications. Thank you very much for watching.